What are the key drivers of sales effect? Hi, everybody. I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One. Normally, each week, we share with you an audio uh, insight or a case study, but this week, we're going to focus way beyond the world of audio, and we're going to focus on the world of marketing science, marketing effectiveness, and the perception and realities of what the key drivers of sales effect are. Look on your screen at these six elements of advertising, and I want you to think about how important you think each of these six elements are. Think about if you had to assign a percentage to each of these six elements and your percentages had to add up to 100%, how much weight would you give to the sales contribution of say creative or targeting or context recency? Well, that was an actual study that was conducted very recently by a company called Advertiser Perceptions. They are the gold standard of researching advertiser sentiment, and they uh, recruited a sample of 305 major brands and media agencies and asked uh, these senior executives to assign to each of these six elements a percentage that would add up to 100%. So let's see what our industry perceives as the relative importance of these elements of advertising effectiveness. And so from the January 2021 Advertiser Perception Study, we find that targeting is perceived to be the number one sales driver, contributing 22% of sales effect. Brand, creative, and reach, each are generating around 17 to 18%. And context and recency are generating somewhat less sales effect. So that's the perception. Now we're going to turn to the truth or reality or the science. A few years back, Nielsen conducted an extraordinary study. They called it the five keys of advertising effectiveness. Uh, the project was led by Leslie Wood, the chief research officer at Nielsen Catalina. And this major study was the most comprehensive examination of sales contribution. They examined 500 sales effect studies covering a wide variety of brands and categories. And each of these campaigns had a uh, strong media representation from digital, TV, and online video, and a little bit of audio in there. So this represents truth, science, and marketing effectiveness, and the actual contribution of sales effect. So we're now going to compare and contrast the perception from the advertiser perception study against the actual realities according to the science of Nielsen. The industry will be in gray and the Nielsen science will be in blue. So let's talk about targeting. The industry said this was the number one sales driver at 22%. The reality according to the Nielsen study was that um, targeting only generates 9% of sales effects. So we in the industry are overestimating the impact of targeting by two and a half to one. Now, lately, we in the industry have been consumed with anxiety over the elimination of third-party cookies, and we've been hand-wringing over the uh, elimination of mobile ad IDs. Perhaps some of our anxiety is misplaced considering that targeting only represents 9% of sales effect. Now, in one of the best written books ever, you can ever read on marketing and media strategy, How Not to Plan, 66 Ways to Screw It Up by Les Bennett and Sarah Carter, they say that don't target too narrowly. It may be efficient, but it's rarely effective. Tight targeting means low sales and profits. Elise Kane, professor at Baruch and a former senior insights and analytics executive at Colgate Palmolive, offers these three targeting watchouts. Number one, 
Most brands misdefine their targets. Number two, most companies define their targets far too narrowly. And number three, people aren't static. They move in and out of targets. Now, what about the perceived impact of context and recency? Combined together, senior executives and media agencies and brands say that represents 26% of sales effect. The reality, according to the major Nielsen uh, study, is that those two elements only represent 7% of sales effect. What about reach? Well, the perception is that reach generates 17% of sales effect. That actually is an underestimation as the Nielsen study found that reach is responsible for 22% of sales effect. Now, remember that 9% of sales that was driven by targeting, put that next to the 22% of sales effect that's generated by reach. So 22 versus nine, reach trumps targeting two and a half to one, according to the Nielsen study. WARC, the industry organization that has devoted itself to the study of marketing effectiveness, declares that reach is the foundation of media effectiveness. And Bennett and Carter in their books say, always aim to get more customers from all segments of the market. It's the main way brands grow. Talk to everyone who buys your category. Talk to them regularly. Advertising memories fade. Go for reach rather than frequency. Go for reach rather than frequency. Reach as many category buyers as possible. Now, Charlie Rudd, CEO, Lear Burnett London, says that advertising builds businesses by creating large customer numbers keen to buy into what a brand offers. We mobilize and persuade large groups of people to act. Now let's look at the biggest disconnect in this entire study. The biggest difference between perception and reality is creative. The brands and their media agency counterparts estimate that 17% of sales effect is contributed by creative. The Nielsen study says it's 47%, almost three times as significant as the perception. So this is a massive, massive disconnect about the power of creative to generate sales effect. Leslie Wood, the chief research officer at Nielsen Catalina, who led this study, says that all of our work shows that creative is central. The quality of the message and the way it resonates with consumers is half the battle. So creative matters more than share of voice. On the other hand, if you don't ever share the creative, then the creative doesn't matter. So get that creative right and then get the reach. A brand new book from one of the UK's uh, gurus of creativity, Paul Feldwick. The book is called, Why Does the Peddler Sing? What Creative Really Means in Advertising. In the book, he says, I would like to encourage all of those who work in the industry to suspend their delicate feelings about what really creates popularity and fame and to embrace the idea that advertising is at least as much showmanship as it is salesmanship. It is time to rediscover the fact that advertising builds brands best when it's entertaining, popular, and memorable. When it's not just a pitch, but a performance. Mark Binkley says, creative is the closest thing we have to a silver bullet, emotional, well-branded creative is a way to become more memorable. The Socrates of San Francisco, that's what they called Howard Luck Gossage. The advertising visionary said, the buying of time or space is not the taking out of a hunting license on someone else's private preserve, but it is the renting of a stage on which we may perform. 
So to the left of your screen is the summary of the advertiser perception study of sales drivers. To the right of your screen is the results of the Nielsen Catalina sales effect contributor study. We see very clearly there are some major disconnects between what we perceive in the industry that drives sales and the realities according to Nielsen science. When it comes to targeting, we are way overestimating the sales effect of targeting by two and a half to one. We're also overvaluing context and recency. We underestimate the sales effect of reach and per WARC, reach is the foundation of media effectiveness. And when it comes to creative, marketers and media agencies massively, massively underestimate the immense sales effect power of creative. When you put creative and reach together, that's 69% of sales effect. That's most of the game, those are your biggest levers to pull to generate sales. Each and every Monday, we share a new insight on audio or a case study. You can find it on our Everyone's Listening blog, and that's at cumulusmedia.com, or you can find it at westwoodone.com. Thanks so much for the opportunity to share with you sales drivers, perception, and reality. Thanks so much.